is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get Mr. George That's George Washington, right? We made it to Boston And we were able to check into our hotel early Which is clutch Now we're walking around downtown We just ate lunch Where did we eat lunch at? What was the name of it? Parish We ate sandwich at the Parish Which was really good Literally would give that sandwich like a 10 out of 10. And now we're walking to Newbury because I've heard it is the place to be in Boston for shopping and stuff. How do you feel? actually walked the entirety of Newberry Street and then we tried to walk along the water but quickly realized it was like a running walking path and we're gonna be doing a lot of walking tomorrow so now we are I guess we're still walking but we're walking through like this little park area that seems to have like frat houses and other properties on it but the houses are like really pretty I'm fascinated by all of the little brownstones in Boston and the architecture behind them what are we gonna do now should we go sit in the park? Yeah, we can. If we keep walking straight. Are we gonna run into the park? Yep. I look like a disheveled human. We're back at the hotel. I'm sitting on the floor because I simply cannot stand anymore. My feet are already starting to hurt and it is the first day. Sorry. No free foot content on this channel. We just spent the day walking around. I showed you guys Newberry Street, walked down Newberry Street. I talked about how we tried to walk along the river. Um, what else did we do? We walked through downtown a little bit. We walked through downtown to get back to Seaport because that's where we're staying. We're staying at the Seaport Hotel. So far, I really like this hotel. It's really clean. The room is really, really nice. And I feel like it's in like a good location. I feel like if it was in downtown, it'd be really loud and chaotic, but it's kind of nice and quiet in this area that we're staying. So first impression is really good. I wanted to show you guys this cute little candle that I got. Down in Seaport, there was like this little corner market. I don't really know what you would call it. There were like 10 huts and in each hut was a small business and I've been needing a new candle. So I stopped in to one of the businesses that had candles. It's called Life Bloom. And I have to show you guys this candle because it's so cute and it smells really good. And like I said, it's a small business. So look how cute the packaging is. They said that everything about the candle is handmade. So they hand make the pot, they hand make the wax. Every single element of the candle is handmade. And she also had a really cute idea. She said that once you're done burning the candle, clean it out and repurpose it for like a little plant pot because it's like really good quality pot. I don't know, like a holder. She had examples of them on her desk that we checked out at, but I just thought this was so cute. It has like little crystals in it. The wick is cute. I'm very excited about it and it smells so good. It smells like sweet, but also florally and a little bit of vanilla. This one is called the Virgin Coconut Soy Scented Candle. And they also gave me a little card on how to take care of the candle. Wick trimming, burn time, safety. I get 10% on my next order online. So I'm gonna have the website to this link down below in case you guys are in the market for a new candle because I actually had a hard time deciding. They had like 10 different candles out and I literally couldn't decide on the scent because I loved every single scent that they had. So I'm gonna link the website down below if you guys wanna support like a small local Boston candle business. Would highly recommend this one. And they were so sweet, it was like the sweetest. I think they were a couple, I don't wanna assume, but that was the vibe that I was getting, that it was like run by a couple. So, first purchase of the Boston trip, a candle. I went to Zara earlier and less overwhelming than the New York Zara, which is why I went in, but I don't know what it is with Zara, but every single Zara that I ever go into, the dressing room lines are insane and so are the checkout lines. Like New York City makes sense because there's a lot of people, but 
I feel like Boston, I don't know if it makes sense that the Boston lines are so long, maybe because it's Newberry Street, but I didn't end up getting anything because I didn't want to try anything on and then deal with returns and all that. So I did go in there, but didn't get anything. Yeah, like I said, right now we're back at the hotel, we're chilling. I'm probably gonna take a shower and relax and then we have dinner reservations at seven in Little Italy or like Boston's version of Little Italy. And it's at an Italian restaurant, obviously, so I'm excited for that. It has like really good reviews and I'll, I'll vlog the whole experience. I also have to be ready because I'm gonna take a brand picture. So I need to like redo my makeup, curl my hair, put on the dress and stuff like that. I'm excited for it because I'm like very excited to wear this dress. It's actually so cute. You guys would have seen it in a recent haul that I did on the video before this one. It was in my Boston packing vlog. So I'm excited to style it. I'm excited to wear it. I was thinking about potentially wearing it tomorrow and like tonight because I just feel kind of gross, but I also think that I'm gonna feel gross tomorrow because we're gonna be walking even more than what we did today. So I'm just gonna full send, maybe take another espresso shot and like pull myself together. This is the outfit we're wearing for dinner. If you guys watched my last video, you would have seen this in the Princess Polly haul. And then I'm gonna attempt to wear these white shoes. I'm not sure how long the heels are gonna last, to be honest. I really debated wearing my Air Force Ones, but I feel like the heels will be cute for the picture that I have to take, so we're going with heels for now, and if anything, after dinner, if my feet are hurting so bad, we'll just come back here and change and then go back out. But this is the outfit. I'm obsessed with this dress. I absolutely love the color of it. Also, we're kind of matching. <laughs> He's wearing like a blue shirt. You can kind of see it in the background. You excited for dinner? Yeah, I'm gonna sweat for sure in this dress. 100%. It's like 90 degrees in Boston today. We thought it was gonna be like way cooler than it actually is and we were like sweating our butts off so the good thing about boston is ubers are fairly cheap we literally ubered down to newberry earlier and it was like a ten dollar thirteen dollar uber something of that sort so it was like six bucks a piece which was not bad at all in new york that would have been a thirty dollar uber so i will take thirteen dollars over thirty dollars literally any day of the week <laughs> If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew, my will is strong with the place. Good morning, second day in Boston. We're getting ready to do the Freedom Trail, but we're gonna go get some coffee first. We're gonna try out this infamous tate. Infamous. That, it's infamous. Wouldn't it be just famous? Infamous is famous for bad reasons. Like. I've been using Infamous wrong my entire life, for sure. Okay, well, <laughs> it's known for having really good coffee and like pastries and breakfast and stuff like that. Infamous would be known for like having bad coffees. Just... Okay, it's too early for your lessons. <laughs> okay, just let me have this one. It's famous for its coffee and like pastries and stuff. I think there's also one in DC, but I've never been to the one in DC. So we're gonna go to the one in Boston. There's one in Seaport, like a little bit of a walk from our hotel, I think. Starting off the Freedom Trail, beginning. I almost said hydrated, caffeinated. I've 100% been using Infamous wrong my whole life. Are you sure that's right? Yeah. Good morning, Seaport. Update on the coffee. I would give it maybe like an eight out of 10. It's not the best coffee I've ever had, but it's still pretty good. Also, that Tate was so crowded. I don't know if it's because it's just the area that we're in or if that is like a very popular thing to get on a Saturday morning, but when we left, the line was out the door. So keep that in mind if you're coming to Boston. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's going to hit the spot this morning. How's your cold brew? It's good. Like on a ranking of like one to 10, what would you give it? Seven. Seven? Damn. It's tough ranking. Them turning the old city hall into a Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Really preserving history with a fat, juicy steak. Where to next, Chief? Uh, old corner bookstore. Oh, we love a good bookstore. I think that's the one they chose. Yep, that's the one they turned into Chipotle. 
Well, this was the old corner bookstore. It is now a Chipotle. So, confused. We're not quite sure what's good with Boston and turning their historical landmarks into food places, but so far, the old city hall got turned into a Ruth Cruz Steakhouse and the old bookstore got turned into a Chipotle. So, stay tuned to see what other restaurants were previously historical landmarks because that is a theme that I'm seeing on this tour. Super cute. So it's really cool because the Freedom Trail is marked by these pavers throughout the entire city. So, like, you literally just have to follow this little trail. In the moment I hung this belief the other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on We'll be together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the Okay, quick popsicle break. That's supposed to be SpongeBob, but we're not quite sure what it is. Got a rainbow pop. Ow! <laughs> I don't know why I just said ow, since that hurt me. The colonists got their ass. in the background <laughs> John's taking a shower but I just got out of the shower we're back in the hotel room we've been back in the hotel room for about 30 minutes now I just like needed 30 minutes to sit down and do nothing and relax my feet before I jumped in the shower or got ready or did anything else because we spent all morning walking around we got up at 8 30 this morning immediately like went out the door like well not immediately we took like 30 minutes here ready but Went out the door, got Tate, and then we did the whole Freedom Trail today. So those of you that have never done the Freedom Trail, it's basically like a historical tour of Boston with all the hitting all the historical landmarks. And it was really cool because there, there was a brick path the entire way, so you were never going to get lost on the tour. And it was like $3 um, to buy a pamphlet that kind of explained each landmark to you, made sure you were going in the right direction. That was cool. I'm not a big history person, but he is, so that's like why we ended up doing the Freedom Trail. If he wasn't here, I probably wouldn't have gone on it by myself. I probably would have just like stumbled across the monuments, but it was cool nonetheless. So we literally spent all day doing that. And then we walked around Charlestown a little bit, which is where the end of the Freedom Trail is. We took the ferry back over to, I think it's called downtown Boston, like by the aquarium. We walked back to our hotel and we've been here ever since. So it's been a really fun day so far, very busy, lots of walking, my feet are sore. And I think we're just gonna take the next two hours to like chill, relax, get ready for dinner. We're gonna go do a drink or two before dinner. There's Cisco Brewery, which is right by our hotel, is very popular and I think it's like native to Boston if I'm correct. Like Cisco Brewery is from Boston and there are a few all around Massachusetts, but the outdoor Cisco, brewery is like a five minute walk so I think we're gonna go do that in a little bit and get a pre-dinner drink and then we have dinner over by the aquarium like on the water so I'm very excited for that and then who knows what else we'll get up to but that's just kind of been what's going on today what we're getting up to so far I like really enjoy Boston it's a lot like it's still a city vibe but I feel like it's a lot calmer than New York. I like the city, I like all the different places, I like the area we're staying in a lot. It's a lot busier today than it was yesterday, I don't know if that's like the norm for Seaport but yesterday it was kind of dead around here, I don't know if it's because it was like a Friday and people were working but Saturday, okay sorry if you can hear all that weird ass noise in the background, I don't know what he's listening to. It literally sounds like Call of Duty, but like in the shower. 
I think he's listening to the podcast. <laughs> I don't know, that's so weird. But yeah, the seaport area is like way busier today. So I'm wondering if this is more like a weekendy place that people come to in Boston. I have no clue. Either way, I'm looking forward to going to Cisco later. And I'm also looking forward to dinner because we picked out a pretty good restaurant. So exciting things coming up a little later. But for now, I'm just going to hang out, stay in the robe, lay in bed, and possibly take a nap. All right, it's a little later. Just got ready for dinner. Headed out to get a drink a little bit later than we were expecting. Both of us accidentally fell asleep and we took like a half hour, 45 minute nap. But honestly, it was so needed because I feel like refreshed now. You know how sometimes when you take a nap and you wake up, you're like more tired. And then sometimes when you take a nap and wake up, you feel refreshed. I'm in like the refresh zone, so that's good. But I want to show you guys my outfit really quickly before we head out to get the drink because I really, really like it. Alright, whole outfit except for the shoes is from Princess Polly. Are we shocked? Top is this cute little green corset top. Love the back of it, love the front of it. I tried like sticky tape for the first time instead of a bra and guys, I'm a fan. We'll see how it holds up throughout the night because I'm definitely gonna be sweating. So if it starts to peel off, um, may not be the move in the future for like sweaty occasions, but for right now I feel like it's working well. And then wearing these white jeans, I love them. I wish I got them at the beginning of the summer, not the end of summer because I'm not gonna be able to wear them soon, but it is what it is. And then we're wearing Nike Air Force One, the shadow version. So let's head out. Do you wanna do an OOTD or no? What? An OOTD. OOTN, really. Do you wanna do an outfit check? Oh, outfit check. No, you gotta say where things are from. Shoes are from Nike. Okay. Uh, the pants are from Lulu Lemon, and the shirt's from Madewell. Nice, stylish. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. I'm not sure why I ordered Aperol, but I don't like Aperol. This tastes like gasoline. But they have cool umbrellas. No, Aperol Spritz is a vibe, which is why you order it, for the vibe. But it's an acquired taste. And I haven't acquired the taste yet. You're acquiring the taste. Yeah. I'm training my taste buds right now. Aperol spritz, raspberry Aperol spritz, and then espresso martini for the boy. You need some energy? Yes. His is his drink is way better than my drink. I'm actually kinda jealous, but like I said, we're acquiring the taste buds to appreciate Aperol Spritz because it is an aesthetic, it's a vibe. Wow. We have steak frites with fries and then, what is it? Swordfish schnitzel. Oh, swordfish schnitzel. I'm intrigued about that. Last day in Boston, we're getting ready to check out in about an hour. But we spent the morning, well we slept in a little bit this morning. I took a shower, we packed up our bags, and then we walked to get coffee. I tried to get coffee at this place called Cafe Nero, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, I guess it's like a chain in Boston. And he had a good cold brew. My latte was like pretty burnt, but, but we both got them for free because if you download like the Cafe Nero app and you've never been there before, you get a free coffee, so I like wasn't too upset about it. But as you guys saw, I did end up throwing the coffee away, and I went to La Cologne because there was one right around the corner from the place we were getting bagels. We got bagels from Better Bagel. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese. It looks pretty good. I'm excited to eat it because I'm hungry. Also, La Cologne coffee is so good. I need to start going more in New York, but it's kind of like a pretty far walk from where I live right now. I think it's like 20 minutes it's down in like the Lower East Side near the Whole Foods so it'd be a commitment to go down there but it's good I got an oat black and tan I think that's what they call it and I got it semi-sweet so a little bit of simple syrup and I am such a big fan of this way better than the first coffee and also I honestly think a little bit better than Tate dare I say it although they're two different coffees so take that with a grain of salt but we're gonna eat these bagels, drink the coffee, check out, and then we actually have tickets to go see the aquarium at 12.20 today. 
tickets to go see the aquarium, like the aquarium is like a, a band or something. How else would you say tickets to go see the aquarium? Well, we're going to the aquarium. We got tickets to go see the aquarium. No, the, the aquarium is the place. It's like we're going to the aquarium to see the fish. Okay, we got tickets to go see the fish. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you want me to say it? We got tickets to go see fish. Yeah. Well, in yeah, the there's aquarium. Other stuff, but you know, the aquarium's not a band. Yeah, but you would say you like I got tickets to go <laughs> to the museum. So should I yeah. have said I got tickets to go to the aquarium? Yeah. Instead of go see the aquarium? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, you get the point. We got tickets to go see the aquarium, or go to the <laughs> aquarium, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Anyways, he's never been to an aquarium, so I'm putting him on blast for that since he just put me on blast for the tickets comment. <laughs> and he's 25, so I'm not sure what you're doing your whole life. But we're gonna go see, we're gonna go to the aquarium. <laughs> See the aquarium. I don't know. I just feel like go to see the aquarium the sounds way better. The reunion. I feel like it sounds way better. Anyways, we're going to the aquarium, and I feel like that's gonna take up a good chunk of our time. And then we might do like one thing after, like wander around. But then we have to get back on the train back to New York. So that is the current update. Just wanted to pick up the camera, say happy Sunday, and let you guys know that we are going to the aquarium. <laughs> with the aquarium and shopping. Now we're sitting, I guess this is overlooking the Boston Harbor. Is this the Boston Harbor? I think so. And we're staring at this teal yacht. I'm not quite sure what the color. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that I would make the yacht teal. But, like I said, teach their own, you know? It's unique, they're never gonna lose the boat. I've never seen a boat that color. If you had to color a yacht or make a yacht your own personal color, what color would you make it? Uh, pink, Barbie pink. In I all seriousness. I would know, all seriousness. You would I not make it Barbie pink. If I had that much money, you could afford a big boat. Yes, I would make Barbie pink. And it would be so much fun. You would just be mad because that the amount of fun I'm having my Barbie pink boat. I would make it navy and be normal, but you have fun with your Barbie pink yacht. We're trying to figure out what to do with the rest of the day because we have like two more hours until we need to leave for the train station. But we feel like we saw the majority of Boston that we could see today without going too far. So we're trying to figure out the next the next move. I feel like the next move within the next hour should be white. Or white. <laughs> should be black. Am I okay? I'm not just saying the white. For reference, this is the boat color. <laughs> Up close and personal. It's way like more teal on in person than it is on the camera. And we spotted our first bookstore of the day. Back at the hotel. I feel like it's so quiet in here. 
All right, we're back at the hotel. We are going to hang out here for a little bit because our train doesn't leave for another hour. And the train station is only like a 20 minute walk away, but also like a five minute Uber. So we decided that we would hang out in the lobby. I'm gonna try to get some work done. I have some more schoolwork that I have to submit today. And then I also want to start editing this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend in Boston with us. It was a lot of fun. Had a good time, would definitely be back. I was just saying that I would wanna do like a New England road trip and see like Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard and all that stuff next time. So, future trip ideas, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, just go off, King. <laughs> go off. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Can you blow the camera again? <laughs>